What's up, Taurus? This is Soul from in uh, Tour to Tarot here to look at your week ahead starting December 2nd, 2024. Taurus, I hope all is well. I hope you guys had a fantastic uh, Thanksgiving. You didn't eat too much. You had an opportunity to get out there on Black Friday to do a little bit, bit of shopping. This week, Taurus, I'm using the um, Winter Rider Weight Tarot to deliver your messages. I haven't uh, reversed any cards here this week. Um, but just to let you know, this deck holds two cards of the same. So if you receive any of the two, it's double the strength of that energy. All right, just going to cleanse the energies from going Aries messages for the week. Uh, what's coming up for my bulls? The energies for Taurus. Now, okay, I'm going to use that Taurus. The Knight of Pentacles just flipped out from the deck. So the Knight of Pentacles is one of my financial independent cards here. So either uh, striving to be or you already are. It could be for some bulls this week. Uh, a job offer. could be a promotion. Okay. Or it could be just the attributes and the element of how people, you know, the attributes and how people see you, refer to you. These people are usually good money handlers. So, Taurus, you could be a good money handler. You're always, you know, dependable, reliable, always willing to help out. Um, and I always say it doesn't always have to result in, you know, the lending of money to others. Someone, you know, definitely sees you as um, their rock. Okay. Or maybe that's just how you come across generally, overall. But that is the Knight of Pentacles, and it's going to be included in your spread. All right. So let's see what else is coming up for you, uh, Taurus, this week, since we already have the Knight of Pentacles. Uh, let me put that up here for the time being. All right, so the first card in energy we have, oh, okay. So I just did Aries reading and they received the Three of Swords, so, and the Tower. All right, so the Three of Swords here normally just shows up here for those who know the reason why the Three of Swords is here. Now, it only uh, surfaces uh, for that reason, okay? But again, let me um, let you guys know um, that the three of swords can mean almost anything to you, not necessarily what, you know, I describe it as to be, uh, I do relate it to relationships, but it may be something totally different for you. Okay. So just keep that in mind. The standard, uh, messages that come out involving the three of swords is heartache, grief, separation, divorce, pending divorce, third party in play. When it comes to romance, it could be three painful choices or decisions, uh, it could be conflicting energies going on with family members, friends, romantic partners, romantic partners who are still together, but there may be some sort of distance that separates you. Pet loss. I always talk about, I just said in tar, uh, Aries video that uh, in my community alone, there were like, I got like four alerts of missing pets, three cats and two dogs, but they all were, you know, reunited. So I can only imagine being that I was a, you know, pet owner. Uh, and how close I was to my pets, um, how devastating that would be, okay? But they were reunited, so it could just mean that for you, okay? But if it means something else, then that's why it's here. All right, so on top of that three of uh, swords here for you, Aries, now we have the, I'm sorry, Taurus, we have the four of pentacles. And I just said in Aries' video, when the, when the swords show up with the pentacles here, it's some form of separation of employment or work. Now, that could be, um, you know, Taurus. Um, in terms of simplifying this, it could be the, the spending that you had just did if you were the bull that went out on Black Friday. That's your money loss right there. OK, but you were still trying to hold on to it because, see, the four pentacles is holding on tight to something securely and not wanting to release it or let it go. Doesn't always involve love and affection. So here in this instance, it could be holding on and not trying to separate from what you already have or accumulate it. It still could be uh, a, a pay raise coming in. It also could be that you're saving up for something greater. Up next now, we have the uh, Ten of Wands, the, uh, one of the busy bees here. So some of you are going to be extremely busy this week doing things that you need to take care of, whether it's on the schedule or not. 
Then we have the Ace of Swords. This is attributed to victory and success. Uh, so you can attach that energy to any area of your life that's going on or it has a lot to do with seeking some sort of excitement or adventure. Normally, the Ace of Swords regards first decisions, first actions, uh, seeking some sort of uh, clarity, gaining some sort of insight or clarity that may be involving a situation, person or an event. Then we have up next here for you is the High Priestess, trusting your intuition this week. She comes in to help guide you, uh, Taurus, to um, you know pay attention to those gut feelings, those inner voices that you hear. Those are always um, your own personal energies, really trying to help you. Your gut, you know, your gut will never ever steer you wrong when it comes to any bad choices or good choices. You may be uh, withholding secrets from someone, uh, Taurus, or someone's uh, withholding secrets from you. There may also be something uh, going on for you this week where the high priestess comes forward to say, hey, Taurus, whatever it is that's going on here, I'm, I'm asking you to have a little bit more patience, okay? Opposites attract and still would represent relationships. And there we go. Likes and crushes. Now, of course, if um, involving the likes and crushes, if we get the full moon or the seven of cups, those likes and crushes are coming out. We have the lovers here. So the lovers is in your spread. And normally when you receive the major arcana of the lovers, Taurus, there really isn't nothing for you to worry about or be concerned, especially the engagements of other people, whether it's romantic partners, friends, business partnerships, family members. This is usually a good card, even playing field, because you see eye to eye with one another this week. You're all on the same page with each other this week. Uh, so, yeah, really nothing should be, um, you know, highly concerning for you. Now, of course, the three of swords could still express itself in some you know way or fashion. Doesn't mean because the presence of the lovers is going to eradicate any types of Three of Swords energies for anybody. Normally, it's just the lovers uh, with a stronger energy emphasis. That's how I read it, that, you know, any connections or interactions that you have with people should be okay, okay? The lovers has the ability to unite not only business partnerships, but romantic partnerships and also platonic, yeah, business partnerships, uh, romantic partnerships, platonic friendships. Then we have the temperance card here to balance out um, or to rebalance. I'm sorry, I lost my train of thought there. To rebalance anything that was taking you out of sorts. And that could have been the holidays. Like I said before, the holidays are approaching. Uh, we've already uh, experienced Thanksgiving. That could have been a level of stress for you. Now, this week here, you're going to be recentered, rebalanced. And taking care of your own needs or your wants, loving yourself, being at peace with yourself. But, you know, always have the capability and willingness to um, be loving and peaceful and nurturing and caring to others. OK, this also represents a relationship. A lot of people don't understand that the temperance carries a lot of weight. It's very positive. OK, and I try to give you the best description that I possibly can. Uh, some of you, like I said, I equate the uh, temperance with that of mon uh, Mother Nature. So some of you could be just spending some time outdoors enjoying Mother Nature and God's beauty. Nothing wrong with that. Mm. On top on top of temperance, that limited edition coffee is very strong. Now we have the happiness card. Okay, the four of wands. Wow. So this is in the form of celebrations here, um, Taurus. Um, so yeah, it could be, you know, celebrating, you know, of course, birthdays, anniversaries, someone could be getting married, family members, uh, having to decide to, uh, move in with one another, romantic partners, moving in with one another could be platonic friends, always, um, the shared happiness, of course, inside a structure of a building. Again, somebody could be relocating to a different area. Now, of course, it mirrors over here to that three of swords. So maybe that's part of the three of swords energy. Somebody could be moving out from a residence. Okay. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, related to like a, a split from a divorce or a separation. It could be just a, you know, another family member deciding to uh, just move out or move away or cut away. 
still this will relate to relocating to a different area, whether or not it has, you know, involving purchasing property for wands. Um, but we do have the Knight of uh, Pentacles here. If it was anything involving a purchase or could be involving a purchase of any types of properties or homes. All right. So um, next card up here is the King of Swords. King of Swords is always uh, driven to do something major in terms of an action or a decision. Um, he's a great communicator. He likes to clear up confusion, uncertainty, doubts, fears uh, that may be centered around a situation, person, or event. So there is something major that you're about to do uh, this week, Taurus. Now, again, the emphasis may be connected to the Three of Swords as well as the Four of Pentacles when it comes to your money, having to make a, a major choice about your spending, your saving, or anything else that you can connect with that energy. Up next now we have the Eight of Wands. In this aspect here, there's something very fast coming in here to possibly put a smile on your face, Taurus. You know, usually rapid energy. The Eight of Wands is an even number of uh, wands here. Communication, what you need to express again this week to others, output that energy will be well received. And what comes to you from others will be well received to, you know, by you. Now, the good news that could be attached to an element of surprise could come from a phone call to us. It can come from the mail texting because I get a lot of texting going on here. Uh, and that sort of turns out to be people's preferred method of communicating with other people. Right. So, um, yes, if you're traveling again, like the. Um, I don't know why I thought you had the six of swords. That was. um that was um, Aries, I think, that got the Six of Swords. I don't know why. I thought you had the Six of Swords. But anyway, if you're traveling this week, you're going to be safe to and from. All right? On top of the Six of Wands here, now you have the Six of Pentacles. Again, um, this is part of gift giving, charitable. So you could be giving a gift to us. You could be receiving a gift. You could be receiving a pay raise. Um, you could also be receiving a you know, an apology from someone who may have handed you a slight in the recent past, right? That's going to sit on the Eight of Wands, so that may have some sort of significance. Um, because the Eight of Wands is um, dealing with rapidness and energy, we have a money card that's on top of that, so there could be some money that's coming in very, very fast for Taurus. From In what element or capacity? I don't know, but it's coming in fast. I don't like to say unexpected because it has to come from somewhere, <laughs> whether you know about it or not, right? So money coming in for Taurus very fast. Two of Pentacles is you're juggling two things. Now, of course, you know, it could be that I'm reading for uh, bulls that are working two jobs. Got two things going on. Could be still receiving a small pay raise or balancing out your checkbook. All right. Just a small degree of an imbalance that you needn't worry about too much. Then we have the Major Arcana, the Chariot. So I know there's another Chariot in this deck. Uh, so there's two Chariots in this deck. You got one of them. So the Chariot is a Major Arcana that's usually strong when it comes to uh, something very powerful that's, you know, coming your way positively, okay, rapidly. Um, again, with the money cards here in your spread, it's still, and the King of Swords in terms of decision-making, can't go without saying that some bulls may be deciding to purchase a car, okay? Some of you may have uh, car repairs, major or minor. Um, I equate the chariot with the star card, of course. So what you're hoping for, wishing for, praying for may manifest for you this week, okay? Just don't be the bull that gets behind any source of any vehicles. Disregard the speeding limit or you will end up with a moving violation. All right, so that is the major arcana of the chariot. All right. On top of the chariot, we have the queen of wands. The queen is focused on something or someone. Normally she goes after whatever it is she's focused on. This card is very intense, very passionate. She can express her way uh, sexually if she wanted to. Uh, also, too, there's an indication of what's being drawn towards you in terms of an attraction. So it could be an actual person or it could be something else that's coming your way in terms of a strong attraction. Um... If it is, you know, the uh, energy assist or burst that you receive, then you're the uh, bull that is creative or artistic, then you can thank the Queen of Wands for that. 
Last card I have for you, Taurus, and the spread is the Six of Cups. So some of you may be nostalgic this week, going down memory lane, recapping your childhood with those friends that you may not have seen in a long period of time. Usually I read the Six of uh, Cups as, you know, those people that, you know, that you know. Family members that you haven't seen in a long period of time. Friends. It could be somebody that you were linked with romantically. Um, however, these people here are thinking about you this week. If they have not connected or reached out to you during the holiday of Thanksgiving, then it's still to come. Okay? Even number of cups, emotionally what you give is what you're going to give back, Taurus. Others may be, um, you know, memorializing uh, someone that they were once close to or that they knew. Um, the dates then would be December 2nd through the 9th in terms of the energy involving possibly their birth date or their passing date. Now, I, you know, throwing this, um, this caution to let you know that's just something I come up with, Taurus. That's not something that's set in stone, okay? Uh, so, yeah, you finish off with the Six of Cups, all right? And this is what I have for you this week here. Um, Taurus, please like the video, share the video, and keep in mind, it's just me interpreting these cards here. You know, take what's going to work for you. Always leave the rest alone. Um, yeah, have a safe, great week ahead. Um, yeah. Did I say subscribe to my channel if you haven't already? Always come back to get more of these messages from me, Taurus. Thanking you guys once again for your continued support of me and my channel. Uh, I do appreciate it. Until I talk to you next, take care. Ciao.